So hi everyone, my new book Lanchin in your pocket beginner's guide to building Gen AI applications using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller. As you can see, it is trending on hash three on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. Uh, so hi everyone. Today I will be answering a very important question that is when and why to use multi-agent orchestration. So basically this was a question someone asked me in my YouTube comments and eventually I'm trying to answer it for the broader audience also. So if you don't know multi-agent orchestration basically refers to creating multiple agents and then they collaborate together to get a task done. So basically why to use multi-agent orchestration because the question that was asked was ki I can also give a single prompt to an LLM in detail and eventually it would be able to do it. What is the requirement of creating separate agents and getting a task done? Uh, multiple reasons for that. Uh, so uh, once you start using multi-agent orchestration for especially complex tasks where at different levels you might be requiring different specializations like considering the task of software development. Now for example if you ask an LLM to help me build a face recognition app. Right. Now in building a face recognition app you would require in an actual world multiple uh, people with different specialization like product manager, technical lead, programmers, testers, etc. Similar ideas for multi-agent orchestration also. If you give the same prompt to a single LLM like for example chat GPT, you would be getting an answer but the answer would be very very shallow. Hence, in any task where you think multiple specializations are required, it is better to go with multi-agent orchestration for getting the best of the results. Hence, because the result that you would be getting would be much, very, very much detailed. Also, just try to think in this sense. If I ask you to like say, help me build a uh, face recognition application. Now, this will also involve multiple roles to play. You would be first designing the roadmap, then building a backend, building a front end, then deploying the ML models. You might be able to do it, but you're not specialized to do it, right? So in a company also, you have different roles assigned to different people. This is the reason because once you limit the search space for person, he can go in depth of it, right? So this is the whole idea of multi-agent orchestration also. Once you assign a role to an LLM, eventually you are restricting search space and then in a particular domain, like for example, you ask an LLM to enact as a product manager in a orchestration framework. In that case, the LLM won't be thinking about how to code and how to think uh, how to for example sing right so you're restricting is search space now it would be just thinking of all the concept required for product manager and hence eventually the answer will be more detailed and more correct also uh, the best part being you can use a combination of different LLMs in multi-agent orchestration which is not the case with a single prompt feeding to an LLM so for example taking a case of software development again if you want to have an orchestration between a product manager and a coder, you must be knowing that there are LLMs that are specialized into generating codes. So for the coder agent, you can use uh, code specific LLMs like Code Gamma, and for product manager, you can use some other LLM. Hence, it is a collaboration of multiple LLMs also that have different specialization. So this is why you should be using multi-agent orchestration. When to use it? For complex task, as I already told you, where specializations are needed, this you need to think. Like for example, if you're writing a technical blog on say machine learning. So if you th uh, think deep, it would require you an expert of machine learning plus a technical blog expert. It would require two agents, ideally. Now, if you do it with a single agent, uh, a single LLM prompt, you would be getting the result, but the results won't be that great. Second part being the input context is huge. This does this, this make sense. Uh, at times uh, when you are trying to get a very complex task done in a single prompt, you need to provide a lot of context and hence input context length might become an issue for you. And same goes for output context length also, because in that case, the output that is getting generated by any LLM in a single out uh, in a single prompt is less than a threshold X. Now, eventually, if it is a very complicated problem, in that case, that X might not be uh, sufficient for you. So you need to break your task. And third is customizations are required. It also does make sense. If you don't agree, I would suggest you to watch some of my previous tutorials on debate application and movie scene scenario where I have done a lot of customization. A lot of codes are running between passing the 
logic from one llm to other llm agent so customizations also uh, multi agent orchestration can play a very big role so this is why and this is when you should be using multi agent orchestration rather than using a simple prompt with a single llm